Alright, what's up, VC? Just got back from the record store, trying to be calm and not overspend. And, um, easier said than done. I go inside the record store and they got two copies of something that's totally sold out right now that's going on the line for triple digits. And they have it for a really good, well, they have it for less than triple digits. And as someone on another vinyl channel just paid big money for it because it was sold out. So I'm almost tempted to get it because I know it's, you can't really get it. Um, for that cheap right now, and the fact that they had two copies, but I already have a copy of that album, and I'm like, gosh, you know I mean, do I really need to spend another trick of change to have an extra copy that's gonna sound like I talked? I've talked about this with my other musicians before, my bass player a lot from the Hayford State Band, Randy. Um, like, how can you know if you can measure sound, and then you can put the price and the measurement? You know I mean, so like with the mobile mobile fidelities, mobile fidelities, fidelity. Like, you know, what I mean, if you have an original. Like how much better do they sound? And I think it really just depends on how much you love that album, and you want to really, you really want the the best copy possible. And I get that. I've I've taken the bait on that many times. But you know, uh, if I would have had the money, I probably would have bought it. This just comes down to it. But when I analyze, you know, I mean, the original copy sounds amazing, and you know what I mean. So, but I feel like. Hey, my dog is over here literally humping my pillow. Hey, 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 what's up? Okay, hey. Hey, pillow rapist, get over here. Hey. Okay. Yeah, she's all proud of her work. Anyways, um, so, you know, I mean, measuring sound. And I, you know, I feel like if you, you know, is a sound like an inch, inch, an inch, a foot, let's just say the sound of these mobile fidelities is an inch better what do you what you know is that what puts it fifty dollars more or seventy dollars more than the original used copy or whatever like and again like i said it really just comes down to how much you love it out but i you know are we almost insane to spend almost a hundred dollars more or you know definitely a hundred dollars more whatever it is a beam just to get an inch more you know what i mean who knows and again, it comes down to how much you love that particular album. And so, and again, I'm just ranting here because I think I was sad. I, like, part of me, I was like, wow, I knew. They had posted a picture of a copy, and I figured maybe that was a copy that somebody had pre ordered, and they, were, they took a picture of it before they, you know, the owner got it. But, uh, hey, 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 PR, get over here. Okay. So. But no, they had two copies of this particular album. Well, then it gets even worse. The main reason I kind of went over there is I've been trying to clear out my bag that I have behind the counter, which is a, like about 10 or 11 records I have on hold, the record store is holding for me. And some they've been holding for a minute, you know what I mean? So I've been trying to clean this batch out. And uh, they posted on their footage yesterday that they had Bone Thugs and Harmony's first album. I'm pretty sure it's the first album. It's the album, the first of the month. The, the album that was the heavy hitter when I was in high school. It has first of the month on there. But the whole album, my best friend when we were skaters, my best friend had that album. He would bump that all the time when we were kids. And uh, that is a total must-have for the vinyl collection. It's import. It's on this neat colored wax. Well, I got there and it is not cheap. right? Now, it's cheaper than the other thing I was talking about. Uh, which we'll is be real. They want, you know, the price for about two records for this one record is what the price is. Because I'm, I'm trying to avoid talking numbers here because I feel like you shouldn't be talking too many numbers unless you're really talking math or whatever. But, but the import, I definitely have to get that, right? But I, right now, budgetize. I already have stuff behind the counter. So I knew that those are, they're, those, they had a li nice little stack of these. And they're imports of the Bone Thug album. So I'm definitely going to try to get one. Uh, but yeah, so these are just, I'm just rambling on here now. But what I did get behind the counter, what was in my budget, because I, I had two copies of Blue Train. I finally got my Blue Note copy, and I got rid of my other copy that I had that wasn't a Blue Note copy. And I, I didn't even do a shootout. I should have, but I was like, I already know the Blue Note one. I'm pretty sure it sounds better. But even if it doesn't, I'm pretty sure they both sounded epic. But I wanted the Blue Note one because that's Blue Note. Originally came out on Blue Note. So, anyways, I'm pretty sure it did. So, so what did I get? Lo and behold, pull out of my fancy bag. 
All right, I've seen this on a few other channels. I've had this on hold for a while. I've seen this, and I was like, right on. You know, at the time, I only had, well, I knew John Coltrane is. I only had a few of his records. Um, well, I take that back. I think when I seen this, I didn't have any of his records. So, but I knew who Coltrane was. So, fast forward. Now I have, uh, like, a live Coltrane. I have the Impulse box set, which has some Coltrane on there. I have Blue Train, and then I have Lush Life. So I have three albums, technically, with the him on some comps, on a compilation. So, now I have a few Coltrane's, and I got this added to the game. And, uh, it's prestige, it's on translucent blue vinyl, it's cheap, a really good deal for a brand new, and I've, I've had this on hold for a while, and I've been wanting to get it. It's only four songs, but they said, I guess, someone else said this is, he didn't like these recordings, and he actually didn't approve for them to release that. It doesn't say, well, I couldn't read them in the back, I kind of did a little speed read or just pick what I wanted to read but it did talk about how this is he was just starting to jam out with Miles Davis and so around that time they were doing let's try to get up trying to do solo sessions he was doing his own session while all the beginning it seems like of starting to become a member of the Miles Davis crew so so he was like trying to find his own as a band leader with, the, with, these ses with this session, that's what the kind of the, the summary on the back of the thing. Many people are like, Ty, you don't know how to read, obviously. But no, on a serious note, though, but so, and I, I guess it's crazy because John Coltrane, they're all, they're all these dudes are such heavy hitters on all these Bluto albums. You can't really, you know, say one person's more than the other. I mean, they're, they're all legends, in my opinion. So, but I guess he was getting criticized because his playing was, you know, I feel like if you're getting really criticized a lot and a lot of people don't like you, it's more like probably because you're, you know, well, either you totally suck or you're just really original. You know what I mean? It just, you stand out more than other people. You're playing or whatever your artistic expression and uh, it shows. And sometimes that can be a good thing with people with a big mind and a big ear. That's good, great. People with a small mind and a small ear, it, they're not used to it. Like, there's even footage of um, Stevie Ray Vaughan. He's playing at a. Just gonna show you this for a while, guys. Here's the back. Stevie Ray Vaughan was playing at the uh, in 1983 at some blues festival in Sweden, I think. Anyways, they practically booed him off the stage. Stevie Ray Vaughan. You watch the performance. He's murdering it. And luckily, it didn't matter because David Bowie and Jackson Brown were in the crowd, and they were blown away. So the 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 immature people that were booing. They were just in shock. They couldn't believe something so good was happening. Supposedly, too, it was on an acoustic day, and they put him, and it was a full band, so some people were maybe just bummed out without, you know, not being acoustic. Who knows? I have the DVD of that performance, and he kills it. I love that. But my point is he stood out a lot because, you know what I mean? He just people weren't ready for the Stevie Ray Vaughan, and I think maybe that's how it was for John Coltrane back in the day. Maybe people just weren't ready for a saxophone player who was actually... He was a beast. So, anyways... There's my rant. And again, these are just, just rants here. And, uh, and um, Rob, a.k.a. Wax, go check out his channel. He has a great channel. For some reason, he gets a lot of heat because he's got no class. No. <laughs> I always give him a hard time. He's got a great channel. Go like and subscribe. Um, but he commented, where's your coffee? The other day I did two channels. Yesterday I did two channels. Or two channels. Two episodes back to back. And I think I was out of coffee. And I didn't do a refill. But I already did it in the comments. So now I'm just super rambling on. Rob, you have been getting some heat, though, on your Instagram page. You've been posting a lot of pictures of uh, getting some really good stuff. Enjoy the seeing all the albums you've been picking up. But, uh, so anyways, try to keep this under 10 minutes because I really, I just showed one album. I mean, there's stuff laying around here, but nothing. Here, let's talk about this. Rory Gallagher. Rory Gallagher, take it easy. This, this is, first off, Rory, the beast. Love him. Big influence on my playing. We play two of his songs in my blues band. We do Million Miles Away and um, Off the Handle. But this is the first Rory Gallagher I got on vinyl. Not the first album. First time I got on CD, actually. And uh, Take It Easy, Baby. This is a fucking killer album. Supposedly the production isn't the best. But that's what I like about it. It almost sounds kind of a... It's in your face. It doesn't need it. It's a... They're a trio. What I mean, what... How can you fuck up the mix on a trio too bad? You know what I mean? Which I'm sure you could. But uh, but anyways, killer album. Go check this out.
and uh, we'll just end on that one. So Rory Gallagher. Later, guys. Like and, like and subscribe if you enjoy these crazy rants. I get excited and I can't speak. I start to talk too fast. It goes, it, it can go to the speed of light. Um, stay positive. Play lots of vinyl. Check out all the other cool, just go on YouTube. You know, you know what's up? If it gets some weird shit in your YouTube, like, I don't know, some violence or just negativity, you know those little dots you can click and then pick not interested? It'll switch up your algorithm real quick. Get some surfing in there. Get some music. Get some art. You know, get the fucking, get those news channels out of there. And now, nothing against the news. You say most of the news is a lot of sad shit because that's what sells, sadly enough. So, just remember, you can you can fix your algorithm to your phone to be a lot cooler. So, besides checking out just vinyl channels, there's all kinds of, there's these people that fly their drones around and film great white sharks. Now that seems scary. Or not, wait, maybe that's not positive, but it's like seeing a great white 20 feet off the shore. First off, I'm mind boggled because I used to surf a lot. Now I know I probably, my footsies were feet away from fucking great whites, from Jaws. This had to have been. I used to surf every day after work in Santa Cruz. And the waters there aren't murky, it's just dark. A lot of seaweed. You can't see shit. So if there was a shark, you're not going to know until it's right, until it's either, you know, right there. So, so I watched that. It's soothing. Luckily, the, the, this footage isn't showing anybody getting attacked. I would not want to watch that at all. But just seeing a great white. <laughs> Alright. Later, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.